Hello, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add a third AI-controlled player into your game, as well as edit the existing ones that are in your group. Now, before we get started, I should mention I am using the PCSX2 emulator. I am using an older version of Outbreak, version 1.01. .01. This is not for File 2. I don't even think he'll be able to use this on file 2. Also, this is only for the US version of file 1, meaning you cannot use these codes on the PAL or Japanese version of the game. This method probably won't work at all if you're using a different emulator. I am going to go through everything possible. I'll also leave the codes down in the description. Now first thing we need to do is go to the PCSX2 cheats folder and make the file that's going to let the game read the cheats. The file type has to be PNACH P or PNAC, whatever it is. Make a text file and rename the extension. It, it's just a text file. That's all it is. Now what are we supposed to name it? Well, open up PCSX2. Open your game, then go to MISC and Show Console in the Emulator menu. Then you have to scroll up until you see this line of text right here, which will tell you what to name the file. This is what the file name has to be. All of these numbers after game CRC. Now open up the text file and slap all this in here. You shouldn't need to edit anything at the top, hopefully. And we have all the codes we need right here. Also, don't touch this. So here you'll be greeted with the codes for spawning in the extra AI. Now, the lines marked in red are things you should not change, and the lines marked in green are things that can be changed. The first line is the character type, which goes as follows. Zero is for Kevin, one is for Mark, two is for Jim, three is for George, four is David, five is Alyssa, six is Yoko, and seven is Cindy. This will also be in the description so you can remember what they are. Line two is if you want the character to be an NPC. I will have an entire list of NPCs in the description of the video. There's even NPCs from file 2 in there that you can use in file 1. There's even some NPCs that you can't play as, but they still exist, although they're pretty broken. They spawn in with default stats, which are pretty bad to begin with. They're very slow, don't have a lot of health but they're an option, and they work surprisingly well. I haven't had any real issues with them crashing the game or anything like that, although there are some that just have completely broken models. And line 3 is for the main characters only. This is outfits, so you can select the outfits for your characters. It goes in order, 1 for outfit B, 2 for outfit C, so on and so forth. Also, if you were ever curious, yes, you can have multiple of the same character in the same scenario using this. That is, in fact, four Cindy's you're seeing on screen right now. This also, as far as I know, hasn't caused any issues yet. So if you wanted to play with four Davids or four Georges or whoever's your favorite, go ahead. Now this cheat isn't exactly bug free. There are a few issues that can happen with this cheat. The main issue being that the fourth survivor in your group will completely disappear if a cutscene plays where the survivors end up getting teleported to another room. In this video right here, this is an example of it. In the outbreak scenario, once Raymond opens the door and you go into the back alley, the fourth AI will completely disappear and there is no way to get them back. But they'll still be counted as alive at the end of the scenario. This isn't it for all scenarios, however. The Hive doesn't have this issue. I don't think Hellfire does either. 
but the rest of the scenarios will suffer from this at some point and there's nothing you can do about it. Other than that minor issue though, the third AI works completely fine. They don't really have any issues. Once you actually get in-game though, go to your PCSX2 emulator and disable cheat. Untick that box. There is a glitch where if a survivor gets injured and put into danger status while cheats are enabled, they will just glitch out forever. I don't even think they can get knocked down or killed in this state. Disabling cheats will make them work normally again, so just keep that in mind every time you launch up a scenario. Okay, that about covers everything. If you have trouble with something, leave a comment, and I'll try to reply to you as quickly as possible. And that's it. See ya.